Hi guys, another one of my grandad's junk pile projects. I was out in the garden this afternoon, it was quite sunny, quite warm, which is quite unusual. And I went into the shed where I got lots of stuff stored away and started looking at this plane. Now, if you haven't seen the original project series, I built this at the request of somebody to see whether you could use the radio receiver and motors out of cheap radio controlled cars and see if they'd fly a plane and the result was no it didn't it nearly did but it didn't quite make it it would do a, an extended glide but it wasn't really climbing at all the other problem was the receiver has quite a short range so to keep it in control you had to run after it. Anyway, the only reason we used the receiver was to control the speed of the motor. Didn't have any other um, controls on the plane at all but lots of people wanted to see the plane fly properly. So I've left it for, I don't know, half a year and thought I'd have another look at it. So I've started working on it. I've already taken that receiver and motor off it. I've cut into the rudder there so that we've actually got a proper rudder. I've got a servo sitting there at the moment sealed into the wing which will actually control that rudder. And I'm going to try that as the only control on the plane. I'm not going to put an elevator on the tail at the moment. I'm just going to see if we can do it single channel, or at least two channel, because I will also control that motor with one channel. So it'll be a two channel radio control. That motor is a bit better than the one that was in there. I can just balance that a minute. That motor came out of this fast lane radio controlled hovercraft which I picked up in a charity shop last year or the year before never worked particularly well because we didn't have the skirt to go with it so it didn't go very well over rough surfaces it was alright on the water and it was alright on a smooth surface but in the end I decided to seal the bottom and just use it as a boat so that meant the lift motor, which was behind that grill there, was surplus. So I took that motor out and that's that motor. I've put a different propeller on it and I've given it a little test using a 2S LiPo, so 7.4 up to 8 point something volts and that motor seems quite happy with that. In the hovercraft it was actually was it eight AA batteries, so that's three, six, twelve volts. That's slightly less than that. That was the original battery pack. One, two, three, four. Yes, eight nickel metal hydride batteries, so nine point six volts. So it's not going to be getting quite that much power, but it seemed all right when I put, put the power on and tried it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to link that servo up to the rudder there. I'll just tape things in place, tape a receiver on there, an ESC uh, and the batteries, and we'll give it a try. It would be nice to see it actually climb for once, and I think that motor will be powerful enough. So I'll finish it off and we'll go and give it a try on a nice sunny day. Just to show you what's hidden under the wings now, I've got a very long strip of Velcro there so I can move the batteries forwards and backwards to adjust the centre of gravity. That's two small 1S LiPos that I've wired together so they are in series so it's a 2S LiPo supply 
that's the ESC. It's actually the wrong sort of ESC, that's one of the ones out of my car and boats. So it actually gives me forwards and backwards, which obviously there's not much point in having backwards on the plane. But that's the smallest, lightest one I've got handy. And then on the other side of the plane is the receiver with the aerial just taped back there. You might notice I've got this silver duct tape running along both sides of the plane. That's because the plane's got absolutely no strength strengthening members in it at all. It's just styrofoam packaging. So when it does hit something it's likely to break. Um, the motor is Gorilla glued onto the front of the plane. And then I've wrapped a bit more duct tape round it just to hold it in place when it hits the ground. Servos there sitting in the wing. I put it there because I wanted the servo quite high up because we've got this high tail. The push rod is fiberglass I think. comes out of a cheap kite. It's one of the spars from a kite. And I've epoxied a short piece of wire on each end of it so that they can go through the linkages. That's the back end. Same thing. So we need a nice sunny calm day to try it.